A mysterious tape worthy of a cinematic thriller, fake passports, elaborate disguises, and a very real assassination of a top commander of the Palestinian organization Hamas, a man suspected of helping ship arms from Iran to Gaza. Brian Ross takes us through that tape. The hit played out over just 19 hours in this five-star resort hotel, the Al Abustan Rotana in Dubai. The hotel security cameras show a bald-headed man police call the team leader arriving, traveling on a fake Irish passport under the name of Kevin Daverone. When the one woman on the hit squad checks in, she has dark hair. But she had arrived at the airport with blonde hair, also traveling on a fake Irish passport under the name Gail Fulliard. Cameras at shopping malls and other hotels in Dubai caught the remaining members of the team arriving in small groups on the first day. 11 in all. It was a perfectly conducted operation. I mean, you, you do need about 11 people to assassinate somebody. On the day of the hit, the bald-headed team leader, Kevin, is seen going into a hotel bathroom with a suitcase. When he comes out, he is wearing a wig and a pair of glasses. As the target arrives at the hotel, the Hamas military commander, Mahmoud al-Mabhoui, he is surrounded on both sides of the counter by members of the hit team. Next, as the Hamas commander is escorted to his room, two men with tennis rackets rush to catch the elevator. They are part of the hit team, police say. When the Hamas commander gets off on the second floor, so do the tennis players. And one follows, easily able to figure out in which room their target is staying, room 230. They want to get close to the target. They want a positive ID. A few hours later, the woman, Gail, and a second man take a position in the hall essentially standing guard, police say, while others on the team carry out the assassination in room 230. The Hamas commander was dead in 10 minutes, suffocated with a pillow, and the hit team flew to destinations in Europe within hours. Israel was immediately credited or blamed given the elaborate undertaking and the suspected role of the commander in providing weapons for Gaza. Today, there was no comment from Israel as Dubai issued international arrest warrants in the fake names used by the mysterious hit team, Diane. Thanks, Brian. Such a provocative tape.